Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this logo and it is fuzzy as could be and it actually has a shadow and I don't, I didn't give it much hope. I'm going to make a duplicate and nudge it over. I didn't move it. I nudged it. I'm going to go ahead and trace it. Now it would always be better. I'm going to go out and trace clip art to find that font. You know, find out who did this logo and find that font. And now I'm going to move the other one over there and I'm going to break it apart. So I'm going to go and, and see all the weird color shadows. And a lot of times you would just kind of give up on this. But if we take some of the parts we don't need and like that background and you don't really have to even delete these, but I am. Then delete this shadow. And delete all these shadows. I'm not, take it back, I'm not even going to worry about this word. I will nudge it over so I can correctly, because uh, I think this is just Arial Bold. So I'm going to take this and just kind of get it. The, my main concern is this spot, or the text in this spot. So I'm just going to kind of get rid of all this shadow and all the wordage. But I'm 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 nudging it over so I have it later for a uh, just a place where I can make sure I can get trying to group more stuff together. You don't want you want to be careful. So what normally there's too many inside colors. You know if you look. So we're going to try to take away the outside colors and use what we can use from it and it i tried it just on the s and it came out pretty good but we want to get rid of all the say excess colors now it's going to be really rough like right there it's, but see that's part of the font but you'll uh, hopefully you'll see in just a second you just, and if you erase something you shouldn't have uh, like I didn't get to these yet. And I think the center of that needs to go away. But I'm just really caring about the outside colors of this font. And I think I can get it pretty close. I did a little bit of experiment just on the S to make sure I knew what I was talking about. But see how rough it is like right there? See, and I got rid of part of that. I'm going to put that back. So I'm just going to back up for right now. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this stuff so I can do this. You don't have to hit your calculator button. Now I'm going to take a rectangle. And I'm going to take my Smart Fill tool, set on any color, and I'm going to fill it in with, there's evidently something right there. We can go and let's go a view and wireframe. And see, there's something right there I didn't get rid of. So this would be a kind of a big help. And maybe that part of the S. Uh, so I'm going to get my pick tool again. And pick that part of the S. And that part. I think every, there's another part right there. See, it's kind of got a shape to it. Well, there's another part. You see, this is going to be corrected. Now let's go back to... Uh, view and enhanced because you can't use the smart fill tool uh, in wireframe because it won't show up. Now I'm going to nudge that down. I'm going to zoom in and get the uh, little parts of the E. And if we take this now, I'm going to fill it in with a different font, with a different color. See, it's not too bad. Let's take these, let's use a, like this dark blue. And then let's nudge this over. And I'm not going to do all the letters. But if we take this right, and, and normally I would turn this into a wireframe or a no outline, but I'm going to use the smoothing tool. And two inches is way too big, so I'll go like a half inch. And I'll click on my item, 
and I'm just going to smooth out this S. And one thing good about me, look how, that's pretty impressive. I mean, you don't want to do too much. Let's go ahead and do the W. And one thing about it, we remember we made a copy. You can't. There we go. I didn't know I had it selected. I went too far. Now this will probably have to manipulate a little bit. And I'm going to use the shape tool. You know, a lot of times this really isn't worth it, but in this case, I think it'll work unless you can find that font. So I'm going to delete these nodes, delete these two nodes, select those two nodes and right click and turn them into a line. And that's what that does. And I'm going to delete that node. Then we can go back here with the smoothing tool in just a second and change that. Let's delete that node. Basically turn these into a line. I just selected them both and right click. Now that looks funny, but we can, you know, bring it back out. And after we're doing this, we're going to compare it to the original. Get the smoothing tool again. And I'm not, and I'm doing this quite quickly. So for the one doing it, you might want to take a little bit more time and use a smaller, and they are going to engrave it. Um, I'm always, whoop, I'm always glad to know that. Um, Cause you have a little bit more flexibility maybe with engraving on a logo. Now, I don't like the E yet, but remember we have the original. So because I did never move it, I nudged it. And what we can do on this case, we can take our, let's move that out. Well, tell you what, I'm going to move that and then move that and that. That way we'll know that that's on top. I'm going to use the uh, transformation docker and I'm going to make this blue kind of where we can see through it. And we're pretty close to dead on. I mean, that purple stuff is, uh, I think we're dead on. That purple stuff is a shadow. Now, I would be happy using this um, if you can't find the font. And then just always get, get with the uh, customer and go, I can't find your font. I had to kind of redraw it. Is this acceptable? So now that we got that, let's move this out of the way. And of course, we want to turn that black for engraving and you want to make sure you use RGB. And the E needs to be cleaned up a little bit. I'm just trying to help with somebody with some ideas because that's a little bit different there. And then I think because we're, uh, if we don't know the font, let's just go with all caps, I still had the smart fill tool on. S P O T. Now look at it in bold and then make it the size of that. It's not, it's a little thicker, but you can make that thicker. The S is a little bit different, but you can, you know, I think it's, I mean, unless you can find the font, now you can make that font a little bit thicker by left-clicking, right-clicking, go up to effects, contour, contour the outside, just one time. Let's go 0.5 and see what it does. It's probably too big. Yeah, forgot how little we're working. Let's go 0 0.01. See, that made that just that much bigger. Go ahead and go to group the con take the contour part and I nut accidentally moved that so I'm gonna move it back. I'm gonna take away the black one. Whoop. See whenever you're working with a bitmap, it's on top. So you gotta be careful. Now there's the thicker one. Now let's say the 
the P is good, the O's okay, and the T's okay. It's not. She can maybe look for a different font, but you can change, you know, this font to look, you know, get a two-point line and, you know, kind of follow that font and just make it, you know, make it a little bit sharper. And then let's just fill that in with, well, I got a line. Okay. That's where the bitmap is going to cause you problems. So get it out of the way for a second. We'll go ahead and use black since we're going to use be doing gray and see how I made the S more like the S. And if, you know, if you wanted to, I'm going to select them all and take away the outline. Now I'm going to make, tell you what, I'm going to make this yellow and I'm going to go ahead and move this over and I'm going to, well, I kind of messed up there. I'm going to group this together. Tell you what, let's just put it right on top of the spot. And for the video, I'm not going to be perfect. Now, if this is, um, you know, if you can find the font, you don't have to do this. But a lot of times you have trouble finding the font. And let's just do one more. Let's do the the. And make it bold. You have to click off your font to make it bold. Let's, uh, I think the, I think it's a really close. Or we need to squeeze it in a little bit. And let's make it yellow so we can see it. I think the only difference is the thickness. So we'll do the same thing. I'm going to nudge that up. I'm going to left click, right click. Uh, I don't like contouring and colors. Do the same contour, break the contour apart. And if you grab the inside, you, sh you should be able to move it out of the way and then move this back. I moved it over. Whoop. See, it's right on top. Make it black. Take away the outline. Let's go ahead and make this black. And the little letters, the... Uh, I'd be, I'd, I'd work on the E a little bit more, maybe work on the, but the S to me, well, maybe it's a little more pointed, but if that's acceptable, you know, get with the customer. If they can't tell you the font, most people, if they have this sticker or whatever this picture is of, they ought to be able to contact the people and find out what font it is. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.